bird shit causes solar panel fires. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the cause of solar panel fires and what you can do to prevent them. So solar panels start on fire. This is a known issue about solar panels and this is how it happens. Bird is flying through the air, it drops some poop down on your panel and it shades a very concentrated portion on your solar panel. Well, how solar panels work is you have electricity that's flowing through the solar panel. That shade on that portion, that concentrated portion on the solar panel is going to impede that electricity from flowing through the panel. And not only will it stop electricity flow, it creates this weird thing where it actually sucks in the flow downstream and it creates heat and it builds up. And over time that heat can get so bad that it will actually start to melt the panel and damage the panel. And as it does that, it just gets worse and worse and worse and hotter and hotter and hotter. And then your panel can actually get hot enough to melt and start other things that are combustible on fire, maybe your roof. This is really interesting about solar panels because for one, if it's bird poop on your panel, it's avoidable. You can have your solar panels inspected and cleaned to make sure that there isn't any buildup on your panel, whether it's just from dirt or a leaf or anything else. Now, this is also interesting because once there is damage on your solar panel, and once the electricity is starting to build up heat and the flow is restricted, kind of inevitable that it'll just continue to get worse and worse. It's similar to, you know, cars driving to a stadium in traffic where if there was a wreck in the road, that electricity, those cars are going to get off the exit on the freeway and going to try to find an alternate route to what they're to where they're trying to get to. That's the same for a solar panel is that electricity is trying to flow through the panel when there's a blockage, whether it's a broken solder point or a bad cell or anything like that, that electricity is going to flow elsewhere and it's going to create a larger flow, more traffic um, on other portions of the panel, which can it can actually cause more heat and more stress to the other portions of the panel and cause damages elsewhere. You were probably told that your solar panels lasted forever and they didn't need any maintenance, but I would highly recommend having your solar panels inspected and cleaned on a regular basis, especially if you have a older solar panel system. The flow of electricity on the newer solar panels is better and they're less susceptible to hot spots, but that doesn't mean they still can't get them. Another thing that you should do for your solar panel system is to check the monitoring. Most systems are connected to the internet where you can view the production of the uh, system or individual panels and it's really easy to see if a solar panel is producing, you know, 30% less than all the solar panels around it. And you can say, is, is that situational, regular shading from a tree as the sun goes across the sky? Or is that something where a panel is broken and it needs to be resolved? So I'm taking a look at a broken solar panel. I saw on the monitoring for this solar panel installation that this panel was producing 30% less electricity than all the panels around it. I went out to the job site and took a look at it and I could see a visible sign of a broken solder point where the solar panel had heated up a little bit and burned through the back sheet. You could see the discoloration um, up there at the top of it. Uh, what I can do is I can test the voltage on the panel and I'm able to see that the voltage is significantly less than what it should be, what it's rated to output. That would tell me that there was an issue if it was not visible. For here, it's obvious. That's a broken solder point and the, the panel is going to produce less electricity. Um, sometimes you can't see the issue and you can test it with a voltmeter. The other way that you can test for this is actually inspecting a system, any type of thermal camera, where you can look at the panel, why it's producing power, to see if there are any portions on the panel that are producing heat. And that will tell you, hey, this is this is a broken panel, this, this panel's having issues, or this panel will be having issues later down the road. Thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. If this was helpful information, please like the video, subscribe, and check out the other playlists and videos on my channel.